my child, right now. You will waste your time elsewhere, but ignore this vital message of mine or leave it as useless. But when a crisis comes upon you or bad things happen to you, you will think that God is not with me. How can I be with you when you don't even want to see the messages I tell you? Maybe you will notice this message today. God is saying to you today, I'm the creator of the universe and I have created you to be a good person. You will live on earth and have many opportunities to make decisions that affect your life. How you live your life will affect the kind of person you are. I want you to be a good person because it pleases me, but there is more to it than that. Many people are not good people. They do not care about others or themselves. They hurt other people by their actions, and they hurt other people by their actions, and they hurt themselves by their thoughts and feelings. They do not realize how bad they are until it is too late. I want you to be a good person so that when I call for help from heaven, you will be among those who hear my voice and respond by doing what I ask. I want to bless your life with great things as you follow his ways and obey his commandments like this video if believe in God. God has a plan for your life. He wants to lead you into the fullness of life and make everything work out for good. In the end, your life was made for a purpose that goes beyond yourself, beyond anything you can imagine now or ever. But it's up to you whether or not you will live according to that purpose or not. If you are at peace with God, you do not need to worry about anything else. You can rest securely in his loving arms and know he will never leave or forsake you. He is faithful even when we are not faithful enough ourselves. God's word gives us peace that passes all understanding. We can trust him no matter what happens or the world around us. We can know that our heavenly father loves us unconditionally and will never leave us or forsake us. We usually think of God as an all-powerful, all-knowing being. But this is not how God has revealed himself to us. When we look at the Bible and read about God's relationship with us, it is clear that he is a loving father who wants to be involved in our lives. First thing that needs to be understood about God's relationship with us is that he doesn't want us to suffer his love for us means that he wants our best for us. If there were ever a time when we needed help, it would be when things were going wrong in our lives. But what does it mean for God to want our best for us? It means that he always wants us to experience joy and peace in life. Regardless of what happens around us or how much trouble we may get into, and when you look at yourself in the mirror, don't forget about other people too. We all have our own challenges and challenges that others are facing right now. Sometimes all we need is someone else who understands what we're going through to give us a hand up or hold our hand while we're going through it. God wants to hear from you today. He wants your thoughts and feelings. He wants to know what's on your mind and how he can help. He wants to meet with you in prayer and talk with you about the things that are important to you and that concern your life. She has a lot of work for people today, but he needs us to be involved. You can make a difference in this world by doing something creative or by sharing your talents or abilities with someone else who needs them. God has called each of us for a specific purpose and responsibility, so we must do our part as individuals before we can get everything done as a community. God says, I know you are a sinner who has done many wrong things. You have hurt people, caused them pain, and even hurt them physically. But I want you to see that I'm not angry with you. In fact, I love you so much that I will forgive all your sins and help you change your life. I know that you have been hurting inside. You have been hurt by others, yourself and your life. But I want you to know I am not angry with you. In fact, I love you so much that I will forgive all your sins and help you change your life. Uh, are you sure you want to take this journey? Do you really want to go through with it? Are you willing to pay the price of leadership? 
God is asking you a very important question. Are you willing to make sacrifices? I think that's one of the most important questions we ask ourselves as human beings. When we ask ourselves if we are willing to pay the price of leadership, we're talking about giving up some things in our lives and putting them aside. It's not easy. Take sacrifice. And before we can become great leaders, we have to make those sacrifices. I am a loving God. I have been merciful to you and your family when you have needed me most. I will continue to be merciful and loving as long as you serve me wholeheartedly. There is more good news. I am always on the side of the underdog and the forgotten ones. We're told that God loves us, wants us to be happy, and should go to church and pray about everything. But what does it all mean? Can we really trust this God of ours? I think we can, and I think you can. What's the very best for you now and forever? I know this is true for all your doubts, questions, and struggles. He loves you more than all the stars and galaxies in the universe could ever love you because he has chosen you to be his own. No one else can understand this kind of love like God does. And so when he says it, it's not just some kind of words that you hear. It's a declaration of war against death and sin, a declaration of peace with yourself and with others, and a declaration of joy in every moment. You should not be afraid of anything in this life. There are no demons or evil spirits that can hurt or frighten you. Only natural forces of nature work through people and things around us that we do not understand. Yet all these happen for a reason. They are part of God's plan for our lives on earth. God created them so that we can learn lessons and grow as human beings here on earth, so that we will one day go back to him in heaven when we die and become like him forever, beloved children. You are not my child but I love and want to help you. God wants to meet you where you are and help you where you need it most. He wants to do this by giving you the right words, experiences, circumstances, and circumstances to help bring out your strength and talents. God wants to show up in your life and change it for the better by taking away your pain and giving you peace, joy, and hope. He wants to give you eternal life through His Son, Jesus Christ, God has a plan for each of us that is designed just for us individually. He wants you to know that there is a purpose for your life and that you are here on earth to fulfill it. He sees you as a beloved child of God, worthy of being treated like a princess in this world. He tells you he loves you so much that he wants to give you everything. He wants to ensure that your life is filled with the things that will bring joy and happiness into your heart. He says that he wants to bless your every step along the way, even though sometimes it may seem like hard work. At times, he knows what is best for you, even if you don't always agree with his plans or expectations for your future. If we focus on God's will for our lives and trust him completely, Everything will turn out all right. In the end, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want him to make me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me, my child. You are a sheep among wolves. You have been entrusted with a great responsibility, but at the same time, you are vulnerable and weak. You need protection and guidance to fulfill your destiny in life. You must be protected from those who would take advantage of or hurt you. You need to know how to deal with people who try to control your life by manipulating your emotions, beliefs, and choices. You need to be guided into wise decisions to live out your purpose in life without being hurt or manipulated by others around you. Your life is a gift from me. It is a gift that I have given you as one of my children. You have the right to live and enjoy life, but you must love and serve me. In return, you are not responsible for your existence, but I am responsible. I gave you life to love and serve me so I can love and serve you.
I created you for my sake, therefore live for my sake and not for your own. I have a plan for you. God's plan is that you will live forever with me. I will be your father and you will be my child. You will see the world through my eyes and I will show you all the beauty in the world. God's plan is simple. You need to make up your mind right now that you want to live forever with me. If you do not want to live forever with me, then let this offer pass by and go on as if nothing had happened. But if you do want to live forever with me, then make up your mind today that this is where you want to be. Type 1111 if you receive blessings. If you are one of those people who has always been interested in having a relationship with God but never really got started, this might be an important day for you. It's time for action. Do not postpone this decision. Any longer, do yourself a favor and doesn't procrastinate anymore. Put your future in God's hands today and let him decide what's best for your life. I want to help you. You are going through a difficult time and I want to be with you through it all. But to do that, I need your complete trust. You can have complete trust in me only if you believe that I love you more than anyone else. Does because only then will you realize what an amazing gift I have given you, the gift of being loved by me. I'm not asking for your trust because I want something in return. Rather, it is because my love for you is so great that nothing could ever please me more than your complete surrender of yourself to me. And as long as you have this kind of trust in me, no matter what happens, I will never leave or forsake your side, not even if we are separated by hundreds of miles or separated by death itself. You are a person who has a purpose and mission in life. You have been given a gift to use for the good of others important and needed. I am in your life because I want to be there. I am not just an idea or theory, I am real alive and active in your life. You are more than just a person, you are part of the universe and as such you have the potential to make a difference in the world. God wants you to help others by sharing your knowledge. If you have something that can help someone else, share it with them. There's no need for you to do this alone. Many people will appreciate your help and love you for it. He asks you to trust him because he promised never to leave or forsake you. He wants to be your God, comfort and strength and give you more than anything. Type Amen if you believe in God. If you like this message, please like, share and subscribe for God message.